Welcome back everybody to our next episode of Black Book. Last time we ventured out to the salt factory and we have finally arrived with us, our good old trusted Susetko Proshka. So not the grandfather or Kolya this time round, but our trusted cat that is next to our side. The place where we arrived looks to be our new hub and this is exactly where we left off last time. So let's have a look what all the different pages or all the different icons are trying to tell us. So let's start with the black book. Um, okay, so we have reached our maximum. Is this by level? Or is that just page two? Orders, orders, keys. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what that tries to tell me here. We know obviously here we have the different seals. What do we have here? Oh, we have a new song that didn't play. There said the raven. I'm gonna leave it at this because the songs are often rather long and I really would like to know more about what's actually happening in and around the, the salt factory. So let's just go through this. Oh, it looks like we've leveled up. Nice. Skill points and devilry five. Oh, the number of shorts in our service. Yes, of course. So we're not quite level 19. <laughs> We could go for more damage, we could go for more defensive stats. Number of active slots for items, we've got all of that, so we could do something more on the price side of things. Items that we can use. Or we increase the benefits from the peasants that they bring us, instead of 10 now bringing us 15. So another 50% increase. Or orders, draw an additional order page, draw an additional key page, and page creation. On the demon side, trots. Bring five more on the job. Ten more on the job. Or we could do drop well. Re um, completing the drop well is reduced by 50%, so that means that our sin counter likely is, is less likely to increase. That's at least how I interpret it. But since we don't have too much idea of how exactly that's going to impact the the final stage of the game, I think let's focus for the time being on what actually gives us a real benefit. And I do feel, because we have already have one for damage, maybe we'll increase the defensive value so we have a relatively balanced deck in our hand. So let's go with this one. Help of the Saints 1, pages with ward increase their value by 1. Okay. And last but not least, Pester with the Chorts. Who is ready? The 13th brother. The task failed. Now, oh. clever kids catch your demon with Zaga Wars and make him dance and sing. So we don't get the money, but we actually get the sin. Hmm. It's a bit odd. Anyhow, 9. 9 and 4, 11 and 5, 10 and 5. Or 8 and 4. No, I think I go for 11 and 5, which is Sand Rats. Let's do it. And I think he's the only one that needed entertainment. Everybody else is still busy, and those two are going to be the next. And then last but not least, our trusted companion, Proshka, wants to talk to us as well. Listen, Proshka. Can you see the demons at the factory with, with those demon eyes of yours? Bah! Evil spirits are everywhere. I'm sure we'll meet some at the factory. That doesn't mean we're always the ones to blame. Well, actually, it usually does. That's just the way you cold ones tell it. Look at me, unkindness and fluffiness itself. <laughs> True, but before you I saw countless chorts, but none of them were fluffy, if you will. You just need to get to know them better. 
Right. Okay. And we even have a visitor out here. Interesting. Let's see who's coming. A mechanic. Wake up. It's dawn already. Pahom wants you in his office. Are you a new salt carrier? Alright, I don't have much time. Don't forget to close the door. Okay. A little bit of a rough fella, but... You know, fine by me. And there doesn't seem to be anything else that we need to do, so... Let's set off. Uh, um, oh, we're here, sorry. I just looked at it from the wrong side. Okay. So here's our location, and we head to... Ustborov Plant Office. The plant manager works in this building, so let's go there first. Not that we could go anywhere else anyway, but, you know. The workers that you meet seem to be scared, even in these early hours. You try to start a conversation, but as soon as you mention the disappearances, they cross themselves and quickly scurry away. In the factory office, you need Pahom. Ah, Vasilisa. Come, I'll show you the factory. It's quite big. Quite a fortune we have here. Salt, as you see. But you can go anywhere with me. Let's look at this. Salt. In northern Prekamie, the Sultan was established in the 16th century. Throughout the centuries, table salt was an object of trade, a source of wealth, and a means to replenish the state coffers. It was worth its weight in gold and often the cause of civil unrest. Hardly, hardly to imagine this nowadays, right? First, we'll visit the pump. Uh, the first stage of salt extracting is getting the brine from the well. A pump is placed above it, along with the protective construction, the tower. Alexei used to work there. Then we'll visit the salt oven. Peter went missing there. The salt oven is the building where evaporation and crystallization occurs. We can go to the storehouse. A demon was seen there on that night. Are you ready to go? Or do you want to ask anything? Let's make sure we understand everything. So first, around the pump. What happened to Alexei in the pump tower? He was the first to disappear. Happened on the first night we struck Prine. He was working then. Haven't heard of him since. Maybe they'll tell you something new in the tower. Are you ready to go, or do you want to ask anything? The salt oven, please. Tell me about Peter, who worked in the salt oven. He was gathering salt from the Tsirin that night. That is a huge pan where the brine was boiled to evaporate water and get salt. There wasn't any brine at first, so we started cooking later. They'll tell you more in the salt oven. The barn? What did you see near the salt box? We tried to track the culprit down. We saw a shadow, but it was foggy that night. Trishka called out to it, and the shadow started thrashing about like a fish. No man moves that way. It was here, by the salt box. We load the salt onto barges here. Alright, I guess that's all that we can ask him at the time. So let's go. I understand. Time for me to go. Next place is the pump tower. This tower protects the pump from bad weather. Beneath this ground is the well they get the brine from. A tall silhouette of a brine pump tower appears before you. It seems to hang over the factory like a watchtower. A steady hiss of the pump is heard from it. Okay, let's get closer. Hey, Ivan, come over here. This is our piping master, an expert in drilling. Ah, Pahum! Who did you bring? Anoa from Cherdin. She's going to help us find Alexei. So that's why her head is uncovered. Ha! <laughs> A bareheaded witch. Are you out of your mind, bringing Coldons to the factory? Hey, mind who you're speaking to. Show her Alexei's things. So, we've been working here for six years, breaking our backs, just so you could bring witches around, right? Salt pits. Salt brine was extracted from a well with a brine pipe. The pipe consisted of a single unit, a thick hollowed out tree several sessions long, with a tub that passed through the middle, lifting the brine. They were coated in tar, wrapped in canvas, coated again, encased in yarn, and then coated once more. The drilling was slow. Six workshops could be extracted in one day if the ground was soft. 
If it was hard and rocky, just one version could be extracted. Hard work then. What are you listening to her for? She probably doesn't know anything. Listen, pretty girl. Do you at least know what to do what we do on this tower? Well, that's sort discretion, right? We just read that. The tower protects the pump that lifts the brine from the well. Hmm. But maybe not such a bad idea, Pahom. The girl is smart. I'll bring Alexis things now. The worker brings a bundle in which you find a piece of paper with a clumsy poem written on it. Oh, my black-haired beauty, your fingers are brilliant with salt. Your hair gleams like black tar. Your captivating eyes are deeper than a lake. Look at him go. Who could he have written this about? Mm, maybe he fell for a salt worker girl? Ha! <laughs> I doubt it. He'd write something about salty ears then. I don't know. He never told me anything of this sort. Well, I need to work. You need anything else? Well, let's talk about Alexei for a second before you go. What can you tell me about the missing guy? What can I tell you? A proper lad. And a smart one. Knows his way around the mechanism. Likes to have a drink, the rascal. Must be drinking with Peter in some pothouse. Oh, if only catch him doing that. They say a demon is carrying off workers. Have you seen anything odd? Yeah, a witch walking around the factory. That's what's odd. <laughs> Funny guy. You tell her what she wants. I haven't seen anything, alright? You'll learn for yourself that there aren't no demons here. Okay, just a little bit more about the pump tower then. What was Alexei doing in the pump tower the night he disappeared? I put him there to look after the pump once the brine started flowing. There's nothing else to do there. He must have grown bored and went to the pothouse. Yeah, clearly, because if he would have done that, we would have found him already. Just bugger off. Thanks for the help. So, what do you think happened to Alexei? Hmm, for now, it's unclear. If it had been Shorts, they would have killed him on the spot. Maybe the girl from the poem knows something. So, where did he go missing? In the salt oven? Building where operation crystal is. Yes, it's right there, behind the salt box. We'll visit it first. The building where the brine settles, part of the water evaporates, and the brine becomes more concentrated. Nice, so we're learning everything about salt making now. At least to a degree. So, salt chest or salt box? But it looks like the salt box is the final destination, so let's take a look at the chest first. This is where they keep the salt brine before cooking it. This is but is close shut. An ideal place for evil spirits. So, let's go there then. Hmm. On our way to the salt oven, one of the workers calls out to Pahom and starts to question him about the disappearances. While Pahom is busy, you decide to look around. Nice, because I can already see herbs. Peter's cross, good, removing poison and waste. So, and this Adam's head, no, Tillich herb, particular C, orders one. What does it say there? This Isper looks odd. Its bottom is all covered with salt. It's black. I sense something bad here. Okay, that's everything that we get for the moment. Oh, scratches. Well, what do you know? There are huge claw marks on the salty log. Ordinary folk wouldn't notice them right away. Looks like a demon's mark. Doesn't look like a simple short's doing though. Okay, that's all that we can see there. Oh, and I forgot last time we figured out that I can actually use WASD to walk around. Oh, tracks. What is this? There's a white track here, as if something was dragged. Here's a piece of a workman's shirt. Could it be a body was dragged here? There's a white track, as if something was dragged. Okay, that's all. And we can't walk any further. Okay. Let's make sure we go close to those grain sacks. Salt sacks. These days, there's so much salt that there are sacks full of it just lying around. 
This worker is carrying one to the barn right now. Okay, that's it. There's not really anything else. We did spot the scratches. I guess that's it. Let's talk to the worker. Enough already. We need to go, and you have work to do. Wait, we stopped here for a reason. Let's talk about the claw marks. I noticed claw marks on it. The kind only the demons leave behind. Where? Oh, Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Uh, open the box. No. Let's talk about this spirit presence. There's something wrong with the salt box. I think I need to look inside. A demon in the salt box? Lord. Piece of a t-shirt. I found this piece of a shirt fabric by the barrels. Oh, nice. That all gives us extra experience. It's really good. Only Alexei had this sort of pattern on his clothes. I need to look inside. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it. Listen, Pahom, don't be angry. We've lost the keys. Well, take some logs away then. They've salted through heavily. We need to open it today before the demons kill anyone else. Do what you're told while we go visit the salt oven. Okay, so I guess we need to come back here. Let's, before we go to the box, let's take a quick detour now to the pan. The salt pan is where they boil the brine. The water has evaporated and salt crystals remain. And then we go to the final place. Well, I'm guessing it's not the final place because clearly we're going to come back here. The salt oven is submerged in unbearably hot shadow. Hmm? It's submerged in unbearably hot shadow? Okay. You remember your visit to the underworld during your initiation. You shudder when you take a peek at the red hot siren. Hey, you! Drop the sack. We want to ask you about Peter. Good day, Master. Did you work with Peter? What can you tell me about him? Well, I... What can I tell? I don't know. He worked hard. We all do. Well, that's it, really. What was Peter doing here? Everything, really. Cook told. Strong guy. Was good at hauling the sacks from down below. Now that I think about it, he was quite good at hauling salt. You have to have some skill for that. Salt ovens, large, four-walled isbars with one door and one opening, and the roof for the chimney were placed near the brine pipes. In the middle of the salt oven, a hole was dug four sessions deep for the furnace. It had steep sides and was reinforced with grey stone and clay. An orifice, to act as a draft hole, was made in front of the hole. Above the hole hung above the hole hung its siren, a large pen for the brine. It took considerable skill to properly adjust the heat so that the brine boiled evenly and let the salt settle like a hard candy, adding brine at the right time and mixing it with iron spatulas. The resulting salt was deposited into bast sacks and stored in barns. Not a drunkard. Have you heard about the demons? Have you seen anything like that? Yes, I've heard. Lord, protect me. But the Lord is merciful. I haven't seen anything of the sort. Peter used to say that here we are like chorts in hell ourselves. I'll show you chorts. Don't forget who you're talking to. Oh, forgive me, Master. I wasn't thinking. Have you seen anything unusual? Mm, nothing of the sort. We're too busy working. I've heard, though, the other day, Peter was saying he was going to get married. What's that? To whom? Yeah, I thought it strange, too. I didn't know anything about him proposing, and here he tells us about this beauty. Black hair, white skin, that's the way he tells it. I think maybe he eloped with her? Okay. The plot thickens. I guess it's time to go. It doesn't look like there are any demons here. I need to search other places. Well, go on. I'll check up on this salt box. You, lad, come with me. Give me a hand. It's getting dark. Hurry up your workers. Oh, okay. Storehouse and banyas. Hmm. 
This storehouse is where the salt is kept, later it's loaded onto barges and sent to the fair in Novgorod. The barn stands like a grim giant. The processed salt is stored here before it is loaded onto barges. Suddenly, in the darkness of the parted gates, you notice a fuzzy figure. You look closer and see that the sun has almost gone over the horizon. Let's draw a circle. You draw a circle just in time. A demon emerges from the darkness. Prepare to fight. Alright then. Oh. What do we have? Paralysis. Cannot use herbs for seven turns. Ooh, that's not great. But we are full, so that should be good. And he only does the small claw. damage total. I don't think this will be enough to kill either of them. Six on him. Four, five. This does four on both. If I do all of them on him, it's kind of overkill. Six and four. Okay, either way, I think there's going to be something left over. A circle just show. No, we don't need this right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he would have been left with just the one, but should be fine. So he's blocking us from using items. Oh, what is this? 17, oof. Okay. But we're not getting style because of this card, right? hoping for my waste cards to pop up so that they at least get a little bit of damage over time, but yeah, clearly not. Okay. What is this? Oh. Interesting. There we go. Now we're getting, we're definitely getting Proshka's defense. This suggestion. However, it would be style, but I don't want to have everything. I definitely want to have scorched on him. Even more scorched on him, because I do think that should be enough. Kine. No. We're gonna go for some. Removes. Do we have negative status? Well. Shield. Hmm. Not ideal. It's gonna be definitely a lot more damage than we can shield off, but the only additional one would have been able. If I do that, if I use able on top of that. Yeah. How many did we get? 8 plus the 5 is 13, so we still get damage, so no. I feel like this is a waste. 
Let's use George the Father. You know what? Let's move it. <laughs> Sorry. Let's do first blessing. I don't know if that makes a difference, by the way, but yeah, like this. And then let's play this just for posterity. Okay. Okay, that's already one less. Okay, so we're gonna get 10 damage. This is such a weird attack. At least it looks very funky. Okay, he does the paralysis again, which we removed successfully. Nice. But I'm not sure if we will let him because all enemies. Fresh Companion's ability, very nice. And seven health. Well burst and well worst sacrifice. Eight damage. Oh, those are really good cards. And piety and blessing. Oh, I want all of them. <laughs> Please. But I do think this is great. Seven health and we get to use the ability again. 200 experience. Well, not so good. Unholy spirit. Ha ha ha. For rivers and woods. Don't kill me, demon. I beg you. Demon? I'm often called a witch, but this is a first. Open your eyes. What kind of Susetko takes a cold one for a demon? Oh, so you're not the demon that settled in the box? Oh, what a life! Salt box short. So, you're saying there's a short in the salt box? Have you seen it? I haven't, but we can all feel it here. It emerged along with the salt. Now it started to eat people. Oh, what a life. Why did you attack me then? Was it you who killed the workers? No, no. I'm a peaceful spirit. The short from the salt box killed them. Even the bannocks know what's been going on. Oh, what a life. Who are you? You look like a Susetko. What kind of spirit are you? I am a Susetko. There used to be an Ispa here. Its hosts forgot to bring me along. Then I started living in the barn when it was built. And the things that have been going on lately. Oh, what a life. Okay. I need to go. It's midnight soon. What should I do with you? Well, I don't... Th I, I think he's telling the truth. So we're just leaving him alone. You stay here. Keep guarding the barn. The demon nods and dissolves into darkness. Okay. We're missing... We're missing 10 health. I would like to replenish them. That gives us 8. That's enough. Okay. That's fine for me. How can we... No, we can't walk around here. Okay. Let's check the Banyas, because this Susetko was saying that even the Banyaks know about it, so maybe they can give us some information that will be useful in a second. You open a door to the factory bathhouse. Inside the old grey building, you feel the presence of evil spirits. You take several steps inside and are immediately surrounded by Banyaks. Well, let's talk to them first. Not a step closer, demons. Don't be mad, mistress. Stay with us as a fellow bannock. We'll live happily and scare the workers now and then. W what? You think I'm an Opterica of some kind? What else? We all sense a new spirit and saw you the other night walking here in the dark. As if looking for your home. Stay here with us. We'll grant you some gifts. <laughs> that would be nice, uh, Nick. Gifts, you say? No, I'm not gonna trick them. It's not gonna help anybody. Let's tell them the truth. What, Bunnik? I'm a regular witch. Really? Well, that's right. 
You reek of life. Where's the bunnick we saw before then? What did she look like? I may be able to help you. Well, she was pale. Long hair, just like a bunnick. Hmm, I wouldn't call bunnicks pale. I haven't seen yours, but I too am looking for a spirit. Point it out to us when you find it. And get out of here. This is no place for the living. Spirits disappear and leave you in solitude. All you can do is to go on your way. Okay, one more. The Kama Riverbank. Salt works are traditionally built on riverbanks. It's easier to access the brine and load salt onto barges for trade. Well, you approach the riverbank and notice a dark figure. You freeze, thinking of what to do next. This may be the spirit you're looking for. The one to blame for the missing workers. But that's a, that's a man. That's a guy. <laughs> okay. Call out. Come closer. Let's come closer. He turns out to be a fisherman from the nearest village. He notices you and puts his fishing rod aside. Told you. Aren't you afraid to go fishing at night? They say there are evil spirits here. Nah. I'm not scared. I have a powerful amulet. With it, I fear no demon. I've seen that evil spirit though. Oh. What amulet do you have? Where is this amulet? Oh, some old woman gave it to me. A fine thing. Turns the demons away. Mm. I don't want to buy it. I don't want to play cards. But I want to talk about the evil spirit. What did that spirit look like? Mm, didn't look like anything particular to me. A dark shadow sitting by the water, combing its hair. As I approached it, the creature bolted into the water. See? All because of the amulet. Should we try and buy it? No, it's fine. Have a good catch. Bye. Alright, I guess that leaves us only with one thing to do, and that's going to the salt box. This is where they keep the salt brand before cooking it. This is by close shut, an ideal place for evil spirits. It is dark now, but the workers are still unable to open the salt box. You see the anxiety in their eyes. Pahom paces around, giving out orders. Seems like he is worried more than others. Let's see, does it still give us the same things if we walk around here? No. The tracks have already gone. Break up. Oh, I've seen the break up once or twice. The door was locked by accident, so I know I came to help and opened it with the break up. Okay. Worker, box door, power home. The workers are trying to break down the door, but someone seems to be holding it fast from the other side. Okay, box door. I sense demonic sorcery. Break up can help open it. Work of a demon. I think I've seen this herb somewhere near. Yeah, we got it. Probably need to talk to Pahom first before we can do anything else, right? At least it seems like it. Let's talk to him then. Hold this here. Come on. One, two. I think I know how to open this door. And I think I know what kind of demon haunts you too. What evil spirits are to blame for the Swordworks disappearance? Well, is it a panic? That would be a mermaid, why? What do you know? I don't even know what that is, and it's not a short from hell, so let's go with panic. No. It seems the Opterica mixed up the buildings and settled in the salt box. Oh, Jesus Christ. As soon as we break down this door, I'll show that evil spirit Russian strength. Wait. I will whisper over the door. Step aside. Let the witch do her business. You mouth the words of a saga war and apply break up. The door to the salt box opens. I have no idea. So maybe it was this new word. Oh no. Now it does look like a mermaid. Ah oh, well. Oh. Blend. Clearly a couple of people just 
floating about. Your assumptions proved wrong. There is a Rusalka in this old box. With a quick motion, you draw a circle and plan your next move. A harmful spirit of a drowned woman. As opposed to most evil spirits, they were they very they are very attractive and use their appearance to lure the young men into the depths. Well, but we are a woman too, so let's talk first. Maybe we can avoid a big fight. Hmm, they did draw her quite pretty. Yawns. What's this Rukus? The moon isn't up yet. God, so many dead. Dead? Girl, they're just sleeping. Because the moon isn't up yet. Mm, what kind of sleep is she talking about? I smell death all the way from here. Oh, if you insist, I can wake up my friends. Okay. No, wait. Tell me first. Why are you here, demon? I was sent by my father, the Woody Annoy. Uh-huh. So it was this new thing. I think he wanted me to find new friends. We'll be very close, forever and ever. Just like fur and its little branches. Am I right, boys? The corpses steadily sway in the brine. Well. Why? What for? Why did you kill all of these workers? Killed? An outwardly ringing laugh escapes the Rosaka's lips. They are alive. Alive forever. Is she delusional or does she see something maybe that we don't see? Why did the brine disappear in the factory? Why did it reappear? These sword workers are lucky to have a friend as kind as I am. I give them life, love, and wealth. What more could you wish for? Mm, to not be drowned in brine? I knew you wouldn't understand. What kind of a demon are you anyway? Okay. Well, I guess that's it. That reminds me, I need to break the water seal. Perhaps your soul could help me do that. Oh, what a pity. And I wanted to propose eternal life to you. You are very sweet. I think you and I are quite alike. I know what kind of eternal life you're talking about, and I don't want that fate. Oh, 200. What does she have, Master? All minutes disappear when this demon dies. Uh, summons more evil spirits. Okay. Yeah, that's not really great. Why do we only get such a poor selection of cards? That's slightly frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. No blessing, no nothing. Hmm. Well, let's start with this because it gives us another order card in the next round and it heals the last bits of health that we're currently missing. Um, status doesn't vanish with battle progress. Deals one is one damage when you lose, so we're gonna use this one right away. And the rest is, yeah, quite useless, so let's just play those two cards. Okay. So she's gonna call something now. Minion. Okay. Oh, shh. She does 18 damage, and then we have another 12, which are waste. Oof. So ignoring shields. Aye. Yeah, we definitely want PAT. We need to attack somehow. Well, we can survive this for sure. We'll, we'll want her defense on top of that, that's for sure. But then I don't get the style shields if I play Gria. This is 20 now, and if I play Gria on her, 
it's only 14 because it doesn't add the 6 that I would get from style. And with her that's 25. The problem is that this does damage past shielded anyway. So this is already enough. Yeah. It's gonna hurt. And that's a lot of health to go through. I'm not sure if we're gonna do this on the first try. The only thing that we can hope for is uh, status. Removes negative status, very good. the same thing straight away again and she decreases the number of orders that I can read during my turn okay yeah that's not great hmm number of keys in the next round and it gives us some health oh wow Painful. 23 and 14. Defense 10. So it's 37. So 27 damage. Oh. We're gonna be dead in a second, that's for sure. What is she doing now? Summons more spirits, oh wow, okay. Yeah. Master, that's great, but set in damage nine. Twenty four. Thirty two. And let's take this one as well. can do quite a bit of damage, but... <laughs> yeah, it's like it makes absolutely no difference. We need to get rid of him straight away again. What does she do now? She decreases the number of orders that I can read again. Healing up. Twenty-two damage. Yeah. And four. But it's not I don't see that we can do much 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 of a different strategy here right now. That's really a tough fight. A 
especially with the cards that we're currently getting, it's not great, I'm not gonna lie. How rude, bothering me and my swordworker friends. Don't fret, this won't take long. Well... I wouldn't be so sure about that. Cycle war damage, 26. Defense for... Do I have anything that I can use? Oh, I have the, the big one. Yeah, I think I need this. Because it's gonna hurt... a lot. Well, it is what it is. Oh, okay. Summons more evil spirits so we can keep Proshka right now. It's a gesture you already come in here. Removes positive status. Not that there is one, but it's fine. Oh wait. But it also has a well worst, so that it impacts anything else again. is gonna... that's gonna have a bit of an impact. Okay, I'm feeling slightly more optimistic again. Oh, waste is done, that's a shame. Beat me in water, you damned witch. We'll see about that. I've beaten bigger foes. Have we though? Have we? Oh, so he's shielding. What is she doing? Salt the wounds. Oh, so she's, oh, she's healing herself and he's giving her some shield. All enemies. Yep. On her. And Rudra also on her 84. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, damn, nice. The multipliers are amazing once they hit off. Okay, 20 ruble only, but a thousand experience. Okay. Damned witch! You won't get me with your foul sorcery. My father protects me. And without me, there won't be salt or eternal life. The Brasalka dives into the brine and disappears. The Drowners crumple lifelessly, seemingly intent on staying dead this time. Silence is all around you. You hear the sounds of a door opening behind you. Pahom found the courage to get to the salt box. He's holding an icon. Let God arise and his foes vanish. That's it. I've banished the Brasalka. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Vasilisa. Mm, too early to celebrate. She's gone, but she took all the brine with her. <gasps> Get the horses ready. We need old Ego's advice. Well, what are you waiting for? Be quick about it. We need to hurry. Right, this moment. Okay, we are back at the Isbar of our grandfather. Um, perfect time, in my opinion, to pause again. Um, make sure that we take stock. We really need to do this. I think I've went through quite a couple of herbs. I don't think we have an awful lot of the Adam's head left over again. But um, good progress. We've uncovered what's been happening um, in and around the salt factory. So we now have uncovered that it is in fact a mermaid that has been luring and, well, sadly, killing all the workers. Um, and yeah, 
from what we could see, we clearly banished her, or at least we've we chased her off. But um, we haven't fully defeated her, so I'm guessing there is going to be a round two, or worse, there might even be an encounter with her father. And this fight already was tough, so I'm um, yeah, I'm a bit apprehensive thinking about what's going to come next. But anyway, we'll figure this out in the future episode. But for the time being, thank you very much for joining me again. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you still find it interesting. But um, yeah, I hope I will be able to see you again on the next episode of Black Book. I think 11 is the next one already. Wow. So yeah, looks like we're accumulating quite a number. And I do think, and I think I've said this before, this appears to be a slightly longer Let's Play overall. So potentially I may have a look at... Um, also adding a secondary game to the list just to see because I, I don't just want to play black book at all and there's quite a few now that i have on my i guess on my backlog that i would really like to play slash showcase and um, share with you all but i'll figure all of that out and i'll make sure that you're aware when the new ones come out but until then thank you very much for joining me look after yourself take care and i hope to see you again very soon Bye.